Not satisfied with our conversation yesterday about releasing a large trout into a fast-moving Rocky Mountain stream, Paul Pascarella phoned again today. With my iPhone to my ear, I hurried down six flights of stairs, crossed the lobby, and stepped out onto the sidewalk behind a young couple headed west on 27th Street. Paul said, With wet hands, I took him to the shallows. I held him gently in the easy flow, moved him back and forth, nose to tail until three bubbles of air emerged, and he regained his strength. Then finally, as if he were my own child, I released him. The couple turned south down Third Avenue, holding hands, talking about theater and what they planned to do later. In any big city, if you are not careful, you'll fall out of the sky and no one will hear you splash into the river. Who wants that? Everybody knows there's juice in giving yourself over to your dazzle, your swagger, your cool, your electricity, your fire-breathing, sword-swallowing days under the big top where trapeze artists soar. Wet your hands. Take yourself to the shallows. Lower yourself gently in the easy flow. Move yourself back and forth, head to toe until three bubbles of air emerge and you regain your strength until finally as if you were your own child, release yourself back into the unreachable depths and velocity of the breaching stream.